ام تريدون ان تسلوا رسولكم كما سئل موسى من قبل دو يو او مسلمز وانت تو اسك يور رسول جست از was asked from Moses alayhi salatu was salam before this woman yatabaddal al kufra bil iman faqad dalla sawa sabil who so ever exchanges kufr in place of iman so he has gone astray from the right path this ah can be addressed to the muslim as well as the jews because the jews demanded from Moses alayhi salatu was salam as we read yesterday la nomina lak hatta dar allah jahratan We are not going to believe in you unless you show us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we see him with our eyes, plainly. So they were making such demands from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also. So are you repeating the same? Is history repeating itself? Do you want to demand from Muhammad also the same thing as you demanded from Moses alayhi salatu wa sallam? Secondly, this ayah can be related to the Muslims also because it is not liked. that you go into very f- finer details of these laws asking question if this happen what will i do if this thing happen what shall i do so asking these questions was forbidden because allah subhanahu wa taala when he has given some commands and he wants to limit that law to th- those details the rest you know he is left to you but if you go on asking and asking and asking So your freedom will become smaller and smaller and smaller and you will have more and more and more of burden on you of sharia so this is something which a man you know he as if he is adding to his burdens when he is asking questions unnecessarily there is an example that when you know this this was declared that every muslim who can afford it is a farz it is a duty to perform hajj Now somebody stood up and asked, "Sir, is it imperative and first to do the Hajj every year?" The Prophet just kept quiet. He turned his face, didn't give any reply. He again came to that side. Ya Rasulullah, I asked the question: Is performing Hajj necessary first every year? Again, the Prophet, you know, kept quiet. For the third time, he again asked. Then the Prophet was angry. He angrily replied. If I say yes, it will become imperative for all times to come for every Muslim. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala doesn't want to put burden on you, and you want to add to your burdens. So that can also be in the background of this ayah. Am tori dun anta salu rasulakum kama soila Musa bin Qabl. Wama yatabdal al kufra bil iman fakat dalla sabab sabil. Wada kasiru min ali kitab al ayyudun akum min baad iman akum kufara. Many among the people of the book, that is the Christians and the Jews, they very much like and desire that they take you back from iman and make you kafir again, make you disbelievers again. Hasadam min the alfusin, out of jealousy only. They know that you are now in a better position, you are in a better place, you are in iman, but out of jealousy. they don't want to accept iman themselves but they want that you should also be deprived of this blessing of allah subhanahu wa taala hasada min indi anfusihim min baad ma tabayyana lahum al haqq after that the haqq the truth has been made clear to them and they clearly recognize the truth fa fu wasfahu so keep on forgiving them and ignoring them it was actually a very basic policy matter that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also wanted and allah subhanahu wa taala has also given the same instruction here that after hijra the prophet wanted sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah also gave the same direction to try to have peace with these people these jews at madina because now the struggle was to start against the people of bakka so don't start any another dispute and conflict as far as possible at madina so actually go on forgiving go on ignoring them don't argue with them don't in every matter question them so that was the matter of policy that was being given here fafu wanhu so you go on forgiving them for all the, their treacheries that is coming in your knowledge but you just don't bring them to book don't investigate don't you know argue with them 
wasfahu and just ignore them hatta yati allah bi amri till that time that allah subhanahu wa taala brings forth his final decision final decision will be the triumph of islam the superiority of islam in the arabian peninsula then you know these people will also be brought to the book in allah ala kulli shay'in qadir verily allah subhanahu wa taala is powerful to do everything wa aqimus salata wa atuz zakah and you o muslims establish the prayers and you go on paying zakah wa ma taqaddamu li anfusikum min khairin tajiduhu indallah and whatsoever you send forth before you before dying you are sending these charities and good deeds of yours towards hereafter that is your stock for the life hereafter wa ma taqaddamu li anfusikum min khairin tajiduhu indallah whatever you are sending before you you will find it with allah subhanahu wa taala in the law bi ma ta'maluna basir verily allah is is seeing whatever you are doing don't think that whatever you are doing the good deeds that you are performing are not in the knowledge of allah subhanahu wa taala